just did a video about not comparing yourself in bookings early on, and I wanted to continue the topic of not comparing yourself and not trying to copy other teachers either. I think one of the things that, uh, there's so many good tutorials out there and mock classes and demo classes, and I think those are great. Like, I learned from those. It was amazing. But I'm going to encourage you to pick, like, five or six people and look at five or six people's don't pick one and copy that one. Figure out who you are and what your style is. Teacher Michael, I believe, who has the Dr. Seuss puppet. Like, I love his use of puppets, but I think I probably won't use puppets. I have a frog that I sometimes use, but I don't plan to go buy a puppet. I'm not sure that a puppet is something I want to learn. Like, That's a whole other skill set that I don't have, so I'm using my own skill set. I'm using colors. Like I can extend about colors a lot. Like, I'm using the things that I am good at. Like, my personality is totally fine doing, like, ah, she said, he said, she said, he said, said. <laughs> but I'm not a puppet person, maybe. And maybe one day I will be. I don't know. But, but know who you are. Figure out which styles you like and what you like about them and make them your own. Uh, don't compare yourself. Like, you're not a different, you're you. You're you. And that's, I think that's what teaching is all about, being you. It's your own style. I think, um, I teach ESL to refugees in our community, community, and there's four different teachers, a different teacher on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, <clears throat> and last year I taught two days, this year I'm only teaching one day, but it, like, each of us has a different style, and that's good, like, it's good. If a student goes to three different teachers, that's good. They're getting three different accents, three different voices, three different, um, if you're doing the upper levels, three different sets of, like, filler words, three sets of incidental language, they can actually, not incidental language, but three sets of different vocabulary they can learn from, like, Children with two parents learn, have a much bigger vocabulary than children with one parent. Like, that's, that's reality. The more we're exposed to, the more different people we're exposed to, the more we understand. And that's, um, I'm a language learner, as many of you know, but I don't just use one source. I use one primary source, one standard source, one source that's kind of the official source, and then I do other teachers. I listen to other videos. I supplement that because it's good to have a different experience. It's good to have people from different parts of Right now I'm learning Chinese because a VIP kid, but it, Hindi is a language that I've, I've studied quite a bit too, and like it's one of my favorites and I'm, I need to study more. But with Hindi, like it's good to hear people from different states in India speak Hindi. It's good to hear Urdu and Hindi. It's good to hear these different dialects so you can understand more. So I encourage you to be you. Don't try to copy anybody else because you, like, there's a whole bunch of cliches I could insert, but really like you're not going to do as good of a job if you're trying to copy someone else. You're not it's going to be harder when you get into the classes because you're only going to know those specific classes. You're not going to know how to do things your own way. So yeah, so be you, 